Welcome, I'm Dr. Nina, and I'm here to help you win the diet war. Today, let's crack the code of emotional eating. Now, what do I mean by that? Lots of times people say, I have no idea what I'm feeling or what's going on inside. I know it's something emotional, but I'm so mad and upset at myself for eating or eating too much, I don't have a clue as to what actually is going on in my head and my heart. Or they say, well, it's nothing emotional that they have trigger foods. It's all about the food. It's not all about the food. If you're not sure what you're feeling, your food choices may offer a clue to your emotions. Often what you think of as trigger foods point to the true trigger, the underlying emotion, need, or conflict. So ice cream, frozen yogurt, pudding, those kinds of smooth, creamy textures, they suggest a longing for comfort, for soothing and nurturing. If you have a sugar thing, as many people do, that's code for needing or wanting more sweetness in your life, more kindness, friends, love, attention. Now, you may not be someone who turns to sweets. Maybe your go-to food is something along the lines of bagels, cake, breads, pizza, pasta, that kind of thing. These foods are correlated to loneliness since they're, they're bulky and they symbolically fill an internal void. If you crave these types of filling foods, Maybe that's a clue you're feeling deprived or lonely and using food to symbolically fill up. Potato chips, pretzels, apples, think crunch. They're, they're associated with anger. Crunchy foods are the ones you turn to most. You may be angry, frustrated, annoyed, or anxious. And maybe you're taking those angry feelings out on yourself instead of directing them towards the people or situations that are actually causing you to be upset. Who would you be mad at if you were not mad at yourself for eating? Now, many people also say, I absolutely know what's going on with my feelings. I've felt my feelings. I've processed them and nothing changes. So clearly, food is the problem. My answer to that is they're feeling emotions they're aware of, but something else is going on that's out of awareness, but not out of operation. So if you've cried for 100 years and you're still sad, there's something else that's not getting expressed. Anger, for instance. Or if you're mad and you've been super angry for a long time, maybe underneath all that anger is sadness. When you take care of what's in your head and your heart, you stop needing food to distract from your uncomfortable feelings and thoughts because you've processed them. And that's how you win the diet war. Thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. Nina Savelle Rockland, psychoanalyst, here to help you have a happier, healthier relationship to food. For more information and inspiration, visit my website, winthedietwar.com, and don't forget to subscribe to the show.